What's up guys? Welcome back. Arc System Works, you know that Japanese company that's behind some of the best fighting games ever released on a console or arcade machine? Well, they're making big waves on social media with releasing little bits of information on their new to be released fighting game, Guilty Gear Strife. And I for one am so looking forward to that game. It looks so damn good. And in anticipation for that game somewhere this year, they have released two signature games in the Guilty Gear series, being Guilty Gear, the very original game, and Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R. That's quite a mouthful and it's a fan favorite of this series. So today I'm going to take a look at those two games, reveal them, take them apart and show you what's so special about the Guilty Gear series. And in a very direct way, they are the forefathers of my beloved Blaze Blue series. So they, they are, they're quite special to me. And we are going to take a look at Guilty Gear Strive or whatever information has been released of those two games. So a lot to cover today. Strap yourself in, sit back, relax and let's dive in. The original Guilty Gear was released in 1998 to much praise. It is the brainchild of the famed game developer Daisuke Ishiwatari and quickly became a cult favorite among fighting game players. It introduced the world to an eclectic cast of characters as well as a number of unique game mechanics like the infamous instant kill attack that could finish off an opponent at any time. Many of these game mechanics are still used in Guilty Gear's modern incarnations and is a testament to how revolutionary its design was over 20 years ago. The Nintendo Switch release of Guilty Gear comes as no surprise as Arc System Works has found its home on this system and Guilty Gear is still as good a game as it was when it first launched. It is a very straight to the point no nonsense fighter with 13 characters some more enigmatic than others but overall employing quite the same button combinations for their special attacks which makes it all the more accessible for newcomers to the series. Guilty Gear is extremely fast paced with nice lighting and sound effects and some pretty impressive backgrounds which are rendered beautifully on the Switch's hardware. I also really like the little fade animations and the interactions between the characters before starting a fight. Especially when Justice take the stage. Have a look. As much as I love the game, I cannot say that I am a big fan of the instant kill moves. Sure, I did manage to pull it off once or twice, but on the whole I did manage to lose more fights battling the CPU even after I gave them quite the beatdown, only to see the word destroyed pop up after being slain while having a near perfect health bar. But in all fairness, it is a unique trait of the Guilty Gear games and I do think they should keep it in there it does make for some unlikely outcomes, especially for the spectator. Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R is in many ways the same Guilty Gear, but much approved upon and I am not only talking about the graphics here. The roster has been about doubled to a total of 25 fighters while preserving the storylines and flashing them out with voice acting and flashy dialogue driven cutscenes. I simply love it. There's an overwhelming amount of gameplay modes and settings and of course a gallery mode for you to enjoy some of the amazing artworks. Apart from the nice touch of being able to change the border art for example, these are the kind of games one buys an arcade stick for or a fight stick. And thankfully it's a very simple setup to change the button layout so as to suit your preference. Let's have a look at the story mode. A definitive highlight of the game with multiple endings depending on the choices you make during your run through. For the purpose of this review I have selected Milia Rage, a Russian girl who was a member of the Assassin's Guild and has the unique feature of being able to use her hair like any other limb. She was an original character from the first Guilty Gear and one of my personal favorites. Just have a look at her making short work of Eddie. Oh, 
ぞこの体バカだ Heaven or Hell Final Let's Rock You win. Whereas arcade cabinet releases are usually much more powerful and more streamlined, Guilty Gear XX Accent Core is a more than successful port in that sense, which lets you experience all the high speed action of the latest arcade version in the palm of your hands. And if you've ever wondered if game developers are sensitive to feedback from the player base, just have a look at the name of this game. The R version is the combination of feedback from the fighting game community to give you, the player, the most balanced and definitive version of the series yet. But for the purists out there, you can change the version of the game to the original Accent Core. Nice touch! Speaking of nice touches, how good it feels to see the word perfect pop up when you've finished off your opponents without taking a single hit. And remember Justice? She is the first complete gear and man is she powerful. How awesome to pull off that instant kill and on none other than Soul Bad Guy. You win. Speaking of Soul, check out his instant kill. And yes, in case you're wondering, a draw, that's a thing too. And then there is I Know, a fan favorite for obvious reasons and initially one of the toughest opponents I had to face until I figured out her attack patterns. Check it out. So, what's next in the Guilty Gear series? By now, Blaze Blue is at the very forefront of the fighting game genre with the latest release of Blaze Blue Central Fiction Special Edition and, of course, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle or BB Tag for short. Both of which I have reviewed and I absolutely love those games. Be sure to check out those reviews. So, it only makes sense to release a fresh Guilty Gear, one of this age. So, without further ado, I give you Guilty Gear Strive. Is bullshit blazing, still my heart is blazing. If the word kill me, I don't need a new word out there. You good. soon you will know. We already know the smell of the Soon you will know, we already know the 
Well guys, what do you think? As much as I am a fan of the Blaze Blue universe, I think Arc System Works has proven that Guilty Gear is just as relevant and hot today as what it was when it released over 20 years ago. The action is so fast paced, the characters are unique and that instant kill that's always there in the back of your mind whether to utilize it or to be afraid of because that's, that's definitely a thing. Whether it is the original Guilty Gear which kicked things off back in 1998 or the fan favorite Guilty Gear XX Action Core Plus R or the up and coming Guilty Gear Strive, yes that is, that, that's gonna be the thing. That is going to be the fighting game everyone wants to play and I'm really looking forward to reviewing that title. Yep I am and if you want to pick up any of these two titles, the Guilty Gear or the Guilty Gear XX Action Core Plus R, I recommend the latter one. Not only because obviously it's a later release, the graphics are better, the sound is better, but there is so much more content packed in there that the roster is expanded and the fighting modes, are the, it's, it's a no-brainer. Go pick it up today, get ready for the new game that's upcoming. I've put links in the description down below to the previously to release titles and as the release date comes closer for Guilty Gear Strive be sure to keep an eye out on the channel and hit the like button if you've enjoyed this review subscribe to the channel so you are aware when Guilty Gear Strive review is coming up and I will see you next time